I note that the theme of your conference for the next few days, and I think also you, you, you're coming after visiting some uh, very interesting field projects, is on measuring and enhancing effective cooperation. And even though I use the word every day, I looked up the word effective in the dictionary yesterday. And it's, what is it? It's something that's useful, successful, helpful, valuable, good, and transformative. So that's what we're working towards, uh, uh, to do that, to do it better over the next few days. I was privileged between the years of 2007 and 2011 to lead Ireland's development cooperation program in Malawi. And trying to work to, with communities and with governments to better respond to the needs, the adaptation needs of climate change was absolutely central to our program there. And I want to share some aspects of that experience that might be relevant to your proceedings. I remember going down to the south of the country, there's some delegates from here from Malawi, down to Nsanji, uh, and speaking with communities around how their life is changing and what climate change adaptation means for them. And one woman in the group spoke and she said very succinct, succinctly in terms of responding effectively to climate change. What does it mean for her? And what she said is, I want more food to feed my family. Very simple. A lot of this is very complicated and a lot of our plans and strategies are very complicated. But really, I learned that it's very important to know what your central objective is here. It's not just to meet with global targets. It's not just to meet with national plans. But it's to respond to what people actually know that they need for themselves. 